Hello everybody, what sound does O make? Two sounds, O and A, ah, as we continue to cover and study the letter O. Let's think about things that start with the letter O. Let's take a look right here. You see this octopus here. Everybody can see that? All right. You see there's octopus, orange, owl, and ornament. That's a new word. Haven't talked about that one that starts with the letter O. Now, let's get ready to read our O story and to finish an activity with O. Remember O. The title's on the inside of the book, okay? So let's get ready. Oscar's O to O. Let's see what Oscar's talking about. Ready? O, o is a grouch's letter. It's the only one for me. If grouchies had no letter O, just think where we would be. O, Oscar. We couldn't cut up onions, making people cry. We couldn't eat oatmeal or yucky olive pie. Onions, oatmeal, olive, all begins with the letter O. We wouldn't have silly, uh, slimy octopuses or owls in the night. Look at those things, owl, octopus. We wouldn't have odd ostriches. There's a grouch's favorite sight. We couldn't squish up oranges or throw peels down on the floor. Ostrich, oranges. All start with the letter what? O. We couldn't row without an O. We couldn't have an oar. Boys and girls, oar is what you use to row the boat. We wouldn't have grouch orchestras. Sounded awful when they play. Orchestra. So now you know that the letter O deserves a grouch. Hooray! So hooray for O. He pretended like he didn't like O, but really he liked it with all of those great things that started with the letter O. All right, remember how we make uppercase O? Big curve, big curve. Lowercase O, small curve, small curve. Today you're going to work on the letter O. Okay, upstairs and downstairs. Here you go. All the way across, we're going to make uppercase O. Big curve, big curve. Remember to stay upstairs. And we go all the way to the end. Lowercase o, short curve, short curve. Look at this right here, or small curve, small curve. Either one, boys and girls, is appropriate. Let's read. I can see your pen. Let's read it again. I can see your pen. Well, boys and girls, what's missing? The pen and the person. You're exactly right. So you're going to practice writing the letter O, uppercase and lowercase. Then you're going to draw yourself. I drew my eyes, but I want to see your bodies, okay? And there's my pen. Remember, we're writing. Beginning of a sentence starts with an uppercase letter. There's space between our words and a period at the end. I am a period. I look just like a dot. Every time you see me, you must stop. Dot, dot, not a lollipop, okay? So make sure I can see your pen.